Now an update to a story we first brought you back in 2015. Physicians at UT Health Northeast discovered drugs to help treat lung scarring. And after receiving countless emails from people around the world, KTK's Kara Pritchard met with the doctors to get an update on their development. She joins us live from the hospital. Kara, what can you tell us? Yeah, many people have contacted me about this medical breakthrough, anxious to know more. It's both exciting and very sad, millions of people suffering from lung scarring. But several doctor, local doctors have dedicated their life to finding a cure. Researchers at UT Health Northeast get letters often from people who have scarring in and around their lungs. She knows that this uh, disorder is going to be fatal and that what's available now is not going to be satisfactory. For more than half his life, Dr. Stephen Idell has worked to find a cure of pulmonary fibrosis and pleural disease. The two drugs that are out there, nintendinib and perfenidone, are not known to be curative. Many patients have to stop those medications because of side effects, typically GI side effects. So Dr. Idell, Dr. Sriram Shetty, and many others developed their own. The peptide we reported on in 2015 is manufactured and ready to go. Basically is going to take uh, further investment uh, to be able to do that. He says it will be about a year before that drug reaches clinical trials. However, the clot buster to remove scarring outside the lungs is already there. So the good news is the first two patients appear to be doing well and they have had some drainage. So basically we're we're encouraged by those results to date. Dr. Idell stresses the importance of the National Institute of Health, which provides the initial charge to get projects like this started. But without the NIH, these trials would never really be able to be conducted because it all starts with research that's actually very, very basic. And that's what they'll continue to do. It takes uh, a while to identify the right pathways, find the right interventions, and then carry them forward and test them. He says no matter what, there is hope for patients. Oh, wow, yeah. uh, Dr. Idell says he believes they will be able to bring clinical trial phase two testing back to the U.S. within the next year. Now that's for the agent to reduce scarring outside of the lungs. Now if you'd like to follow along with the recent development of these drugs, I'll have several links on our website, EastTexasMatters.com. Reporting live in Tyler, Kara Pritchard, KETK News. Sanderson Farms may be